Hey there, my friends. A little public service announcement on having an attitude of gratitude today. And speaking of friends, I'm with one of my good friends, Timothy Eisenman of the Raw Bras. Uh, I'll have a link to his channel in the description below. So, Timothy, thank you for being here with me. Thank you, JP. He sounds pretty grateful, doesn't he? And I'm pretty grateful about his gratitude. Mm -hmm. So, speaking of that angelic like devil, I've been inspired getting to hang out with my good friend here for a few days, and I've been really inspired in a really cool way, a very inspiring, inspirational way, experiencing your gratitude. And it's felt really good for me to be around, so I wanted to see if we could kind of open Timothy's veins and have that bleed out onto you in this grotesque gratitude analogy. So with that said, my friend, I'd be curious if you were giving us one secret, if you will, or one strategy to actually practice gratitude, not just going through the motions, but actually practicing gratitude, what could that be? Mm. Thank you, JP. Um, I would say it's about having faith. And um, having faith when things aren't necessarily going the way you wanted them to go. We, we have all found ourselves in times where life can be more challenging than other times. And it's those moments where I think it's so important for us to believe that better things are just on the horizon. Mm -hmm. To believe that God has your best interest in mind and that He is going to create a life for you that if you, that by faith, if you can believe, then it will happen. Um, and celebrate, c celebrating the things that we usually take for granted mm. in life, whether that just being able to breathe. If you have your health, I hope that all of you do have your health, uh, have your health, being able to take a deep breath in, being able to walk around without any pain. I mean, that's just the fundamental of the of being grateful. Yeah. That one really strikes a, an important chord for me, being grateful for what you otherwise take for granted. And, and I'll own that. I am um, guilty of not doing that nearly as much as I like. And when I do do that, when I kind of have the reminder to be mindful about being grateful for the things I otherwise take for granted, I can't explain it. I just feel better mm. in like a kind of a interconnected kind of way and that's pretty meaningful to me and then something else you shared the other day as uh, talking about being present you were talking about how being grateful for what you have now mm -hmm. is a really effective way for being present rather than focusing on what you don't have yet which kind of projects you out of the present into the future um, so I, I kind of just stole your spiel so I can have credit for your wisdom. So that's all me, everybody. It's but okay. Anything else to share about the connecting to the present through gratitude? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, our life, my life, is made up of a bunch of right nows. It's like my life's made up right now. Like, but oftentimes when people ask me, so Timothy, what do you want to do with your life? I immediately, and it might be just human nature to think, okay, well, what do I want to do in 10 years from now? Or what do I, where do I want to see myself in five years or even a few months from now? But the, you have to, in my opinion, go against our human nature or conditioning, whatever you want to call it, and stop thinking, start, bring your attention away, pull your attention away from the future and bring it to right here, right now. Otherwise, in 10 years from now, even if you do just so happen to succeed and accomplish your goals and have everything you want, your attention is still going to be in the future and we're not going to be able to enjoy it. So the trick is not um, uh, having accomplishments or succeeding in your goals. The trick is appreciating for what you do have. And that way you can never go wrong. I think Eckhart Tolle would approve of that message. And having an attitude of gratitude is a good thing. We know it for sure because it rhymes. Therefore, it's got to be true. It's got to be just super wise so 
thank you, my friend, for being here, and thank you guys for being willing to consider how you can bring a little bit more gratitude in your life. One more pearl of wisdom I'm going to steal from Timothy. I'll edit that part out where I credit you. Mm -hmm. I'll just steal it. <laughs> being grateful for being grateful. Mm -hmm. There, uh, Timothy shared with me, which I, I just really loved it. Uh, we were talking about like, it, what would your ideal life be like? And, and Timothy kind of blindsided me with, I would want to be grateful for what I have. That would be the ideal life. And I'm expecting him to say, oh, Lamborghini and having an elephant. And like, who wouldn't want an elephant? But being grateful, it, being grateful for when you notice yourself being grateful, mm -hmm. I think that's a, a blessing mm -hmm. in and of itself. So with that said, anything else before we part ways from the camera? I couldn't agree more. And I'll, yes, I do. I will say, I think we all love challenges. I think that's uh, one of the most fulfilling parts about life is overcoming challenges. So the good news about this idea of gratitude, attitude of gratitude, is it's not easy. And it's challenging. You have to wake up every morning and make that decision that, okay, I'm going to start looking for things in my life to be happy about or to be grateful about. And it's not easy. So if you're, having a t uh, if you're challenged by that idea, then good for you. So am I. But uh, keep sticking with it. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Uh, if you choose to subscribe to my channel, I'll be grateful for you. If you don't, I'll be grateful when you do subscribe finally. And uh, feel free to check out Timothy's channel, The Raw Bras. Again, links in the description below. Uh, we have a couple videos up on that channel, collaborations. Uh, one will be out up right now, another near future. You'll want to check those out. And if you don't want to check those out, then I want to brainwash you to think that you want to check those out. <laughs> Talk to you guys next time.